All right, I'm going to show you guys how to install the new throw joint onto your avatar. So I'm going to go underneath the cam folder after you pulled it in my prefab, grab cam, and then drag that into your scene, and then grab throw joint main container and do the same thing. You want to click on cam, hold shift, click on throw joint main container, right click them and unpack prefab completely. Then you want to drag the throw joint main container underneath cam and then cam underneath your avatar. They should be all in the same level as your armature and meshes. So you should see armature body and then cam. Now what you want to do is you want to uh, find the left and right wrist lock. You want to open the armature and you want to drag the left wrist lock into your left wrist and your right wrist lock onto your right wrist. Now what you want to do is you want to click on the right wrist lock go up to the transform in the inspector hit the gear and hit reset now it's going to move up to your right wrist so then what you can do here is you can click this little perspective button underneath the gizmo and it'll put you in isometric view and then you can click on the green y arrow and it'll take you to the top view this is how i just like to align it then you can click on this and move the handle up to around here that looks about good to me and then you need to go into rotation and type in negative 90 on the X. This is very important because this blue arrow is going to determine where the throw joint shoots. So now I'm going to click on this blue arrow for Z. It's going to take me to the front view and I'm just going to move it up a little bit just to make it uh, align properly. So now what you want to do is you want to go up to the transform on the gear, click copy component. You want to find the left wrist lock and you want to click on the gear and do paste component values. And now you're going to see it moves here and it moves down a little bit. You want to go into position on the X and hit the negative button. So it's negative on the X instead of positive. So it should look like this. And now they're perfectly aligned on each side. Now you want to open up the world constraint under the main container, open up container, and then open up both of these physics constraints containers. You want to click on both of these here, the container swap and container left only, and you want to drag them outside of those uh, containers here. So you should see underneath your container, you should see container swap, container left only, physics constraints swap, and physics constraints left only. You should see all these on the same level. You want to open up container swap and container left only. You want to open up static object for both of those. You want to click on the ghosty here, and then you want to navigate to wherever your head is in your armature. You want to scroll down to where it says look at constraint. You drag the head into the sources and you want to do the same for the other ghosty. You want to drag the head into the sources. Um, and that's the physical setup done. Uh, actually, really quick, you want to click on static objects here and you want to disable them. So they're both disabled whenever you uh, spawn in. This is very important here. Um, and that is that part of the setup done here. So now we want to move over the uh, effects layer and parameters and all that. So what you want to do is you want to pull in the avatar uh, 3.0 manager, which is something I'm going to include in the readme for this package. And then whenever you pull it in, you should see VR labs at the top, click on avatars 3.0 manager. It's going to come up with a little window. And then what you want to do is you want to drag your avatar into the avatar slot click on the effects drop down, find the effects controller for your avatar and make sure it is in the controller slot here. Then you want to hit add animator to merge and you want to open my folder structure down to descriptor under cam and throw joint pro. You want to drag it merge me with effects into the controller and do merge on current. And then uh, from here you want to add the parameters. So you click on your avatar and go to the inspector here and you want to find the throw joint menu and or rather you want to find your menu and your parameter list here and uh, what you want to do is find my parameter list and you want to uh, add all of these parameters as bools to your parameter list on your avatar and then you also want to go back to your avatar find your main menu for the avatar and you want to add a sub menu and drag my throw joint menu into that menu. And that is the entire setup done. Um, there is a common issue people have where if you install the throw joint onto your avatar, your facial expressions will get stuck. This is because your avatar most likely actually indefinitely uses a, um, a right on a right defaults on workflow, which is uh, outdated. Um, and that's something that's not to be used. I'm going to link a video in the description that will help you fix this issue. 
Um, but yeah, if you have any issues, uh, join the Discord that's going to be in the description and ask questions there. Do not ask questions in the YouTube comments because I do not answer them. Uh, be sure to join the Discord and ask there. All right. If you have any other questions, again, Discord me. Do not post in the comments. All right.